Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to look at the best new Adobe XD plugins. The first of, of these new Adobe XD plugins we're going to look at is Fireblade. And Fireblade is pretty cool because it helps to basically export uh, basic HTML and CSS. This is a new one, but it's very visual and it's very nice to use. I'm just going to quickly close this. And what you can do is, as you can see on the left, I can ha I have a lot of options to basically uh, export this as a you know as an HTML file with CSS. And there are a lot of options. I can choose what height and width of the document I want, the alignment of components, and a lot of other good stuff. And um, again, this is for rectangle, or I can just choose to export the entire artboard either the artboard or any element inside it. So if I select this uh, entire artboard, say export, uh, as you can see, <laughs> this is a cool little animation on top. It's slicing through and it's pretty nice. Design successfully exported. If I go to my finder and if I go to uh, my desktop, as you can see, there's a folder called web1921. And if I go to uh, this file, and I open it with Firefox, that's my go-to browser. As you can see, the, the rectangle is here and it's the same width. And check out all these other languages like React uh, Lit Element or React Native, that is crazy. These are JSX files, um, which is pretty awesome. Again, these are premium features, so if you want to select them, you'll have to go to, uh, you'll have to sign in into Fireblade and also get the premium. But except that, this is a very good free Adobe XD plugin for you guys to check out. The next one is actually called Stock Image and it allows you to import any sort of stock images either from Adobe Stock. So if you have an Adobe Stock uh, account, you can do that. Or you can just search for a random stock image. I'll, st I'll just say man uh, for now. And I'll just quickly search. Uh, it'll search from Adobe Stock itself and uh, it'll give you all the free options here. and. As you can see, I can quickly select one and for example, I want to apply something to this rectangle, right? I can say apply one image and it'll apply that particular stock image uh, inside here. Of course, this is low quality. You can actually choose the quality of the image in the settings panel. So if I want a larger image, uh, it'll affect my document, but I can quickly select this image and say apply one image and it'll take a couple of seconds, but see how good the quality is of course you'll have this adobe stock kind of uh, watermark on this to remove that all you need to do is go to the settings of this plugin here and i'll just select small and the small ones ideally can just be used without license okay so the next plugin is called tool labs dsm and design system manager basically and um, as you can see, you can either sign in and you can you know, store your own design systems or you can just select a sample artboard, which is essentially these, uh, this proper design system they've already created for you. And the best part about this plugin is that if you select this artboard, for example, you can change the theme as well. So if I say lights out, it'll change, it, change any design into directly a dark theme and I can even change the color essentially what it is doing is these small commands are changing uh, some saved colors right here and I can add more colors or gradients or content here but it already has a lot of stuff which in, in there so if you're really looking for a good design system manager built inside Adobe XD I think this is the perfect one to labs DSM okay so to show you another one which is very similar to this uh, it's called StyleMate and it's not exactly the same, but you basically create a collection. You say confirm collection and you can basically uh, save color, height, size, width, things like that. You know, things which you cannot save inside XD yet. These properties you can save from here. And the best part is you can actually add all your properties in the manage section of this a plugin you can add opacity whatever list of uh, style guides you want to add you can add and then 
uh, apply it to whatever portion of your design that you want to apply it to. How cool can these get? Now, the other tool that I'm gonna show you is called Apply Bounds, and it's pretty useful for repositioning elements. So uh, if I want this image to be aligned with, say, this element, for example, I can say copy from selection. I then select the image and say paste position. And it's just pasting the position right here. So gone are the days when you manually copy the, uh, the uh, X axis or Y axis and then uh, put uh, and then apply it to a particular image or element. So this is a pretty cool tool called Apply Bounds, I think you should go check it out. So those were all the new and amazing Adobe XD plugins. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of awesome content and I'm coming up with more content every Monday and Thursday. Go check the channel out and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.